Hey sportsmen, John Bergsman here with the Fisherman's Digest. Well, we're here the afternoon before we're gonna go fishing. We're gonna be up here in beautiful Silver City, Michigan on the Lake Superior shoreline up in the Western Upper Peninsula. It's snowing here today. Tomorrow is supposed to be beautiful and sunny. Stay tuned for an awesome trolling show here in the fall time of the year, Color Tour Lakeshore Trolling here from the Western UP on Lake Superior. Well, they're definitely biting, boy. We got here, and that's three hits in less than 10 minutes. We're pre-front, and what we're doing here today is uh, we caught that little coho to start the show just to introduce you guys to what we're doing. And we're just here, here in the Western Upper Peninsula, and we're, we're, we're hard shore trolling later, later October now, obviously, Western UP can be really, really nasty already by November 1st, but uh, we're just trying our best to, to show you guys something different. You know, we don't want to go to the same places and catch the same fish all the time. This, this, is like, this is like one of the most unusual fisher, fisheries that people just need to know about. This whole shore, basically from Saxon Harbor there at the Wisconsin border, all the way up to Ontonagon. And man, oh man, guys, there is fish here to be had, nice fish. And basically this starts in fall. Pretty much if you time it with a color tour, you're pretty much gonna be right. Uh, you know, it can start a little before that, obviously with the weather, but color tour, it starts going big time and man, oh man, you got some really nice stuff. And I don't know if, uh, Alex, the camera guy, can show you just how far from shore we are. <laughs> Not real far. And that's really one of the best things about, uh, about this bite is that it, it's accessible to small boats. A guy with a 14 or even a 16 foot boat can easily fish this. Guys, and we're going slow. That's the key here. We are going so slow. We've lost four fish since we hooked this fish because we couldn't keep them hooked up, but I'm telling you what, this is a... There's my key here. You got another line in here, that's why. Really? Yeah. I see the we got a nice fish, though. Big, big lake here. Got him. Oh, 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 oh. That right there, Shemp. Oh, I'll get this, you hold that fish up, Sean. That is crazy how big that fish is. Oh yeah, awesome fish. Just a number five jointed and look at the way he took that bait. Ninety feet. Oh yeah, I have a feeling he's gonna change his mind too. It's our line counter. We got some lead core on there with a little, oh, what, Shemp, we we're on 25 foot mono. 30 foot liters. 30 foot liters. Fluorocarbon. fluorocarbon. Yeah, you're dealing with Lake Superior, you know, here. It's okay. really clear. 20 pound test fluorocarbon liters. Yep. I tried lighter and guess what? Yeah. It, you leave some of the lures and the yeah, fish. Yeah. Plus, you got a lot of rock in here, so the abrasion's real high. All right. 35 feet, this is another nice fish. If Shemp hurries to get the fish back, guys, don't be offended, but if they're females, then we're gonna let them go and spawn, but if they're males, we'll show them off to you, but the big females, we wanna, we wanna treat them right like we do any spawning fish. We wanna get them right back in so that they can, they can do a great job. 
Oh yeah, I see color, it's a nice one. Oh man, beautiful fish. Look at that. That's on, your That's on my Rasta goose. Yeah. <laughs> There's, we'll show you one of my, I, I said that to you shrimp, that, uh, shrimp. That's one of my yeah. favorite spoons. So this is a, we're gonna turn, uh, we're gonna turn shrimp and Don onto these, uh, to these super slims. We picked out this color and left it on for a reason. I like it. Absolutely. And so Shemp will show you that's just a super slim. And that color on that is a Rasta goose. And that's a really, really good color for lake trout because it's just got a bunch of orange on it. And Shemp will show that off to you. It's got a little purple center flash to that. And that's really what I think is the key to that whole spoon, Shemp, is that that center right there looks purple when it flips and flashes. That's a yeah, super, a little, like, a, like a smelt. Like a smelt. Exactly. exactly. So, Shemp will show that fish off. That's a male. So, it's looking like uh, one we can give you a good picture of. And if Don or them wants to even take it home, we can. Oh, a three pounder. It's a beautiful fish. That's just a normal fish for up here, right? Yep. Fisherman's Digest is brought to you by Angler Quest, built with purpose. Traxtech, the ultimate fishing system. Strike King, tie one on. Garmin. That's on that. I just put that on. Another fish. Another triple. fish. Triple. We got a triple. You got to get one, Don. You're going to have Ryan. to get one. We want them all. We're greedy. This is a big fish. I know. I can't do nothing with this. I know. This dude is uh, big. I know. I'm still not even to lose oh, my goodness. You got a good one, chump. Lift your rod straight up. All right. Oh, there's a, there's a big, nice, clean lake troll. Look at that. that one. Look. There's your... <laughs> You're gonna show that one off while I reel because Don's reeling, we're all reeling. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Here he is, nice fish. Another native. Well, this one you'll be able to show off, Shemper. Yeah. Here's another native. Another native, another beautiful. Spoonfish. I'll correct this rod here. Oh, I got him. Got another fish up. <laughs> I went to pick this rod up and another one hit it. Again, the board was back in the prop wash. Look at that. Good, look at that beautiful fish. Ladies and gentlemen, and Shump will show you that fish just how beautiful those fish are. Look at those fins, Shemp. Not very big, but that's a native lake troll. To yeah. Lake Superior, right? You see the gold in his belly? It's beautiful. And the head's dark. Okay, we good? Okay, we're sitting on your motor. Big. Oh, it's a nice one. Big. Oh, I don't want to lose it. Way to go, Don. Whoa. Got off. In the net. In the net got off. We'll show you this one quick a minute. The, oh on the my dipsy. good, on the dipsy. Show that one on. Show that one off while I get this one. <laughs> I think we found the mother load jump in Don. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, this one's tag, guys. Look at it. Oh, yeah. Look at the tag right there. Here you go, Shemp. What happened? Oh, I got another, a fish. You got another hole? Come here. Oh. Dipsy. Dipsy. Fly and a spin doctor. Chrome spinner. And so far, we've lost two fish on that board out there that we can't seem to get. If we just leave it there, something will bite it. Oh my gosh. 
Oh. Seriously. Really? You, <laughs> you want fish really? like this? The Western UP. Is it warm right now? No. Is the colors beautiful? Yes. Are Uper guys strange? Yes. But the fishing here is awesome. Awesome. And Shrimp will show you like our ninth or tenth one here on this pass. Oh, he's a little bugger. I know. He's he is a feisty one. Come on, you gotta show off for the camera. That's right. Another beautiful native. Awesome fish, man. Oh, I know, and he's a big one. Oh, I can't. I can't horse that thing. He's a nice one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. There's a dog, is right. I'll hold the net while you wrangle him. We got Brutus. Yep. We're going to have Shump take care of him and show him off to you. We got just a little bit of. Yep, middle net in him. Oh my gosh. Woo! Got him. Look at that. You wonder if that spoon is catching fish. That's what we're talking. Turn that spoon a little bit there. That spoon right there. Rasta goose. And that is catching moose. <laughs> What's our set, Shemp? 50 feet and uh, 30, feet of, 30 feet of line, three colors of lead. 15, 15 feet Beautiful, Lake Superior. Compliments of Mr. Don and Mr. Shemp. Let him go there, Shemp. Got him. It did. Well. Fisherman's Digest is brought to you by PolarCraft, the toughest built aluminum boats, bar none. Dreamweaver, home of the revolutionary spin doctor. Lose, feel the difference. Wave Pro, best ride on the water. <laughs> we set this rigger and literally before you could turn around, we had one on it. <laughs> I'll get that one out and you can do that Donnie's fish. Coming back. Here, let me grab this fish here. I'm starting to get a lather. <laughs> yeah. We want to show you this fish. We'll show you this. See that fish right there? We'll show you this spoon. This is that Dreamweaver spoon we've been talking about. And I mean, look at the teeth marks on this thing. They are just destroying this spoon. You can't hardly, you don't even have to do anything. Just set it out there and drive around. It's been nuts. So hey guys, John Bergsman here at the Outdoorsman Pro Shop. Now this is my local home store shop. And what we've done is we've stopped for a second just to show you the baits that we had a great day up in the Western UP on Lake Superior with. Now the first one, which you'll all recognize, this wrecking ball, this is a lights out uh, lake trout bait. Uh, Steely Dan was good for us, as well as custom gold. Now, when you're shoreline, oh, I call it shoreline trolling, anything under 40 feet of water, I kind of look at that like with a beach trolling mentality. And that beach trolling mentality basically sends you out on the water with flat lines, one color, two color, three colors of lead. That's gonna get you about halfway down 30 to 40 feet of water. And when you're in good conditions, those fish can see up plenty to get those baits. Now, we trolled two and a half miles an hour, so it's standard trolling speed. Uh, no real secrets there. The real secret to me is in cold weather, whether it's spring or the fall, is the common denominator between these baits and all of these super slims, whether it's Goldilocks, which here's another great bait uh, for spring uh, lake trout fishing or steelhead fishing, is orange. If you can see it right there, just orange. 
I mean, Steelhead love and, and Lakers love that color. And what you're really looking for is to find something that triggers them. If you're flatlining uh, thin fin shads, same thing. Primary base color orange. So try these baits out, try that presentation out, watch the show a couple times if you have to, but that type of success can happen for you anywhere on the Great Lakes. Straight up, Shem. He doesn't, they are feisty. Oh, that's what it is. Beautiful. Why do something as unsafe as this by walking out on the tongue, trying to hook up your boat, and wasting valuable time at the landing, when you can just simply drive up and click it in? Driving the boat up the trailer and leaving the motor running while you walk up to the front, hang over the bow, try to hook up your straps, your chains, and crank it all in is incredibly unsafe. Plus it does a lot of damage to the landings itself. With the draddle latch found on boat to trailer, there's no power loading needed. You simply back the trailer down into the water, bring the boat right up the trailer, and click in. The latch is compatible with fiberglass boats, just like these you've seen here. And also we say typically 10,000 pounds or less for weight. It also works great with aluminum. Fisherman's Digest is brought to you by Offshore Tackle Products, Flowfast, world's leading portable fluid transfer system, Drato, catch and release boat system. <laughs> oh, shot. Not this one, chump. And then Don can reel in that one. We'll all take turns. Look at this beast. This is a beauty. Wow, wonder what it's on. Spoon. Secret spoon. <laughs> Secret spoon. Don't tell anyone, right? And I'll let you uh, just uh, release him. I'll grab the net for you. Show that one off though to the camera. Just the quality of these fish, Shemp. Thank you. Here you go. Thank you. It's just, oh, another fish. Oh, dip, 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 rod. Dipsy rod, that's four. We don't even have to reel rods in. Yeah, we don't. Well, just that we won't have any left. Yeah, we only got like one pole in the <laughs> That one out there is all that's. Never, never get them all it's crazy, guys. Never, never got them all. Unbelievable. I know, and we tried to get them in desperately. Couldn't do it. Donnie's got a nice one there. Oh yeah, beauty. Beauty. You know, one of the cool things about the Western Upper Peninsula is this right here. The variance, not only of weather, but of fishing. You know, in five years coming up here and filming, I can tell you we have had so much good success. Whether it was spring fishing on Gogebic, summer fishing with Tim Long from the Timbers Resort on Gogebic, or spring fishing up on Superior like we did last year. Now this year, we're up here in the fall and it just seems like we have the same type of success. It's awesome fishing. You know, a lot of these places are totally, you know, untapped. We pull into launch after launch and there's just not that many boats up here taking advantage of these great fisheries. You know, from Lake Superior shoreline to Lake Gogebic, there is so much to do here in the Western Upper Peninsula. And then when you throw in the awesome color tour season, 
as well as snowmobiling, well, let me tell you what, the Western Upper Peninsula is where it's at as far as a full year-round destination opportunity for all kinds of different outdoor activities. Man, you gotta put this area of the country on your must-see list soon. Michigan's Western Upper Peninsula. It has almost everything that a guy, a gal, or a family could ever want. Nice. <laughs> Unbelievable show. I mean, we went out there, we had a beautiful day, we've been bumming around, and now the snow started again. But that was an incredible day here on Lake Superior. Guys, we've done this here before. This is a fishery that you need to put on your bucket list. The Western Upper Peninsula, from Ontonagon to the Wisconsin shoreline, is flat out possibly one of the best real mixed bag opportunities anywhere. Closed captioning is brought to you by WavePro. Best ride on the water. Online at waveproshock.com.